Star Wars Day has arrived and we've been gifted a brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer. Are you surprised? Not really. The best geek news. Hello, I'm Nick Floyd and it's going to be a short show today because I refuse to talk about anything that's not Star Wars. Can you force me? Be... <laughs> You've got life centered enough. Well, it happened. The Disney gods have given us the first official trailer for the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series and it's just as cryptic as the teaser was. Duel of the Fates was used. Again, we had a few more lightsabers pop up this time around. Could one potentially belong to Kumail Nanjiani? And Darth Vader? Listen, the show looks great and we're all gonna watch it. I'm so excited! We also got this sweet poster that feels like it might be trying to say something, like maybe Darth Vader lives within Obi-Wan, even after everything they've been through. Whatever helps you sleep at night, sweetheart. Another day without Chris, which means another interview from the West Coast, except this one is Star Wars related. Is are there, are there any roles that you've ever like that fill you with regret that you didn't take? You know, I don't have. I, I, I'm. I've been really fortunate in my career, and I'll, I'll be the first one to say it. I I don't have a lot of regrets. There's there haven't been a, a lot of movies that I've that I've almost gotten that that oh it would have been nice to be in, in that. The only the only franchise that I always wanted to be in that I that I just never have been a for whatever reason was the Star Wars franchise. That for me was like the first big movie when I was six or seven years old or whatever it was when it came out that I I was like this is this is probably the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life and will ever see it. And, but this is this is a close second. There's still time. There is still there's time. Still time. There's still time. There's plenty of iterations out I'm there. I'm sure now, there's so. ways we can make that happen. I say we like I haven't. <laughs> well, it's... Um, and finally, the Moon Knight finale has happened, and I haven't seen it yet. So that's something Chris is going to cover when he gets back next week. In the meantime, let me know what you thought of it in the comments. Tell me. Tell me about him. And that's a wrap on Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow with my final show of the week. Oh, uh, thank God. Thank God. All of the stories in this video came from articles written on comicbook.com, so if you'd like to read more about some of today's news with your very own eyeballs, feel free to head over to comicbook.com where we work 24-7 to keep you all up to speed on the latest news. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and more, all of which are linked below. If you're someone who likes listening to other people argue for hours on end about this sort of stuff, we've got you covered there as well with Comic Book Nation, hosted by Kofi Outlaw every Friday, or our Marvel-focused podcast hosted by my best friend of me, Brandon Davis on Wednesdays. If you want some behind the scenes antics or previews of my cosplay or you want to know what it's like to live on a spaceship for months at a time with no genuine human interaction, find me on Instagram at CK Comedy or Twitter at Chris Killian, all links below. Once again, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and give yourself a pat on the back for making it this far into the video. That's great. I can't believe you made it. See you tomorrow.